If you wanna play your favorite games just like the masters, follow Will's tips because he's the fucking man. Will's video game tips. Ultimate, ultimate video game tips. Damn it. How to play Indigo Prophecy. Alright, now if you're watching this video, then you're obviously having some problems with Indigo Prophecy. Indigo Prophecy is an adventure game, and as we all know, the point of adventure games is to do as little as possible, solve as few puzzles as possible, and generally, see as little of the game as possible while still reaching the end. The first thing you're gonna see is this long, 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 long intro sequence, so we're gonna skip it. My name is... As you probably already know, Indigo Prophecy is a murder mystery game where you play as the possessed, schizophrenic, clairvoyant, superpowered Mayan instrument of ritual, sacrificial murder, and all-around good guy, Lucas Kane. He's also an investment banker. Basically, the first two scenes of the game are the most difficult, so in this video we'll be focusing on those. This will get you a really good start on the game without ruining the bigger secrets that reveal themselves later on. Now, after you've successfully stabbed this old dude in a bloody ritual murder slash homicide slash sacrifice, you'll have to get out of the diner without getting busted. This is easily the most difficult part of the game because of the aging, dib-witted cop guarding the diner's entrance. Quick. I've, I've, I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Indigo Prophecy is different from other adventure games in that it occasionally requires you to actually do something. Being that Lucas Kane is a schizophrenic, murdering, half-retarded, bilingual robot, he has been granted certain superpowers that will allow him to do things such as dragging dead bodies around. So, go ahead and drag the dead body into the stall. Note that every time you do something good, like hiding the now decaying corpse of the person you just brutally murdered so that your crime will go undetected long enough for you to escape the scene of your own twisted crime, Lucas Kane will feel better, and so should you. Next, as any halfway decent murderer knows, you have to hide the that knife. pesky bloody knife so the police won't find it. This is where Lucas uses his heightened criminal intellect and hides the murder weapon in a random nook or cranny of the room where the police are sure to not ever find it. Once again, notice that hiding his bloody murder weapon makes Lucas feel better. Now, simply crash out of the room and into the waitress like the twisted psycho you are, then book it for the subway and sweet, sweet freedom. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. In the second scene, things start to get interesting. Now you're playing the cops who are trying to catch Lucas. This means that you have to escape yourself only to try and catch yourself five seconds later. This type of self-defeating ridiculosity repeats for the duration of the game. As the popo, you already know know that the most important thing is jacking free cocoa. And by cocoa, I mean coffee. After you've filled your bladder with rancid caffeine water, cruise into the crime scene and snoop for clues. Being that our hero, the lonely cowboy ninja hacker from the near-distant future Lucas Kane, could not flush the dead body down the toilet, it unfortunately still remains in the stall for the police to examine. Uh-oh! It also appears that criminal mastermind Lucas Kane hasn't hidden that murder weapon as well as he'd hoped. So check crap around the room until you find it. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives in toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Now, following the primary rule of adventure gaming, be sure to ignore everything else in the diner completely and leave in your stereotypically old muscle car. There, that should get you the best possible chance for success in Indigo Prophecy. Do you suck at first person shooters? Do your friends call you noob sauce and then eat you for breakfast? Tired of your face getting Capone Zord by shotgun blasts? If you said yes to any or all of these questions, then you need serious professional gaming help. If there's a game that you just can't get the hang of, or if you just want to see more of these videos, then send me an email with the game's title to willprowl at onecliplift.com. If I have the game or plan on getting it, I'll make a video chock full of helpful tips just for you.